Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. This is the Firefox Financial Toolbox. I realize I've been gone for a couple weeks. Uh, we're going through a move right now, and time has been <laughs> time has been money. Uh, but I wanted to make a quick video today on the updates to the 2022 contribution limits for uh, IRAs for your workplace plans, your 401ks, 457s, that thing, uh, HSAs and go over the difference in the standard deduction amounts. So I made this little chart here. Nothing too fancy, I understand. First of all, the IRA contribution limits. You guys, this is for your Roth IRAs, your traditional IRAs. Okay, um, so your individual retirement accounts. Uh, it didn't change. Last year was 6,000 with a $1,000 catch up if you're 50 or over. Uh, 2022 is the same. So we can't put any more money in our Roth, which is unfortunate. I was really hoping that would go up, uh, but it didn't. Uh, moving on to the 401ks and the workplace plan. So if you have a 401k, a 403b, a 457b, or if you're in the military and you have a TSP, we did get a little bit of a bump. So last year it was 19,500 with a $6,500 catch up if you're 50 or over. This year, the amount went up $1,000. So the amount is $20,500, and there was no change in the 15 over catch up. So that stayed at $6,500. Uh, but it did increase the amount $1,000 that you could put into your 401k, which is nice. Uh, HSAs. Now, you guys, uh, if you have a high deductible health plan, I encourage you to use an HSA because you put the money in before taxes. It grows tax-free, and if you use it to spend on any kind of medical expenses, and let's face it, we all probably have those, uh, it's tax-free coming out, so it's triply tax-advantaged. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a high-deductible health plan, so I can't partake personally in this, but let's go over the limits. So in 2021, if you were single, you could contribute $3,600, and a family could do 7300 now, the catch-up on this is a little bit later in life. It's 55 and over, and it's a $1,000 catch-up. Now, that's 1000 whether you're a single or if it's on the family. Uh, this year, for 2022, it's gone up $50 for singles and $100 for families. So this one is not growing very big very fast. But, again, it is, if you're a family, $7,300 that you could put away. And if you don't use it, remember, that can grow for as long as you want tax-free. So it's a good plan to use if that's an option for you. Uh, and if you haven't seen my other videos on HSAs, you guys, as I said, there's some there's some requirements you have to have a high deductible health plan and some other stuff. So check out that video and it'll give you information on what you need for that. OK, let's talk about the standard deduction amounts. Ever since the tax cut, uh, the Tax Cuts and Job Act came out, we've had most people are not itemizing their returns unless they're business owners. And if you are, congrats, because that's the way to do it. Uh, the tax code is written for married people who own businesses. Remember that. OK, so the standard deduction amount. So first, we're going to talk about single and married filing separately. Uh, that standard deduction in 2021 was 12,550. Now it has increased this year up to 12,950. So they had an increase of about $400. And I think that's reflective of the inflation that we've had you guys. Uh, if you're filing head of household, which means you are a single parent and you are taking care of little ones, your standard deduction is $18,800 in 2021, and this year it is $19,400. So you had an increase of $600, uh, which is nice. If you're married filing jointly as a couple, you in 2021, you could, right, you could deduct $25,100. Uh, in 2022, that's gone up to $25,900. So they have $800 or the same as the two singles. Right, just two singles would be 400 and 400. It's an $800 increase for married filing jointly. Now, you guys, if you're 65 or over, there are some special rules. You get a little bit higher deduction because you're retired. In 2021, if you're 65 or over and you're married filing joint, each spouse would get an extra 1,350. 
Now that's gone up $50 per spouse to $1,400 in 2022. In, in 2021, if you're single and you're 65 or over, you could add an extra $1,700. Now that also has gone up $50. So you get an extra $1,750 on your deduction. Uh, you guys, knowing how much you're going to have for deductions, knowing how to use the taxes and use contributions to your advantage. It's good to know those limits. Now, there are some, uh, <clears throat> the IRS has come out with the new tax brackets. It has gone up a little bit this year. Uh, if you like and you're interested, I'll make another video. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see going over all of the new 2022 tax brackets because they have gone up a little bit with inflation. Anyway, you guys, just a quick video. I know this is short and kind of to the point. Once I saw that these limits had come out, I thought it was a good quick way that I could do that. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, do me a favor, drop me that like. It really helps the channel. If you're not already subscribed, you know the deal. Hit the red button and ring the bell. All right, we'll see you. Thanks.